number 39, we'd like to find the values of x for which the slope of the curve, f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5, is two different values. We'd like to find values of x for which the slope is 0, and we'd like to find the values of x, secondly, for uh, which the slope is 2. Okay, so if I'm finding slope, that should immediately kind of scream at you, you need to take the derivative, okay? So uh, we've got to take the derivative first, and we're trying to find where is slope 0. In other words, where is the derivative 0? Derivative means slope. So if I'm trying to find where the slope is 0, I need to take the derivative, set it equal to 0, and see what x values would give me 0. So let's take the derivative of this function, f prime of x, and the derivative of x squared, now we know by the power rule, that should be 2x. The derivative of negative 6x is negative 6x to the 0, or just negative 6. And the derivative of 5 is 0, because 5 is constant. So we just get that f prime of x is 2x minus 6. That's my derivative. Now I'm interested, where is the slope equal to 0? In other words, where is the derivative equal to 0? So I'll take this derivative, 2x minus 6, and set it equal to 0, and say what x values actually make that happen. So I solve for x here, and I get that 2x would have to be 6, so x would have to be 3. So for part a, the only place where I would get a slope of 0 is when x is equal to 3. Uh, now let's think about part b. I already have the derivative, and I want to know where is the derivative equal to 2. So I take the derivative, 2x minus 6, and set it equal to 2. Then I solve for x. So I get that 2x equals 8, where that x would have to equal 4. So the answer to part b is that x is equal to 4. In other words, when x is equal to 3, the slope of the function is 0. When x is equal to 4, the slope of the function is 2.